Hello and welcome to my 13th Blitz 3 tutorial, and in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to create a terrain and how to create a plane. So, first of all, as you can see here, I have started out with a blank program and I've saved, t I've saved our file here as ttest in our Project 12 folder, ttest.bb, and that stands for terrain test. And, yeah, so here I have our blank program, except that our key controls here, uh, I've just modified our left and right arrow keys to turn us left and right, and our original translate entity command. So that's all you need to do to start this. And yeah. So let's begin with the terrain. So all we do to create a terrain is ground equals create terrain. And in and in the brackets it takes only one parameter. It's the uh, amount that you want to stretch it on the x and z axis. And here I'll just put 512 so it tr stretches it the uh, 512 degrees on the x-axis and 512 on the z-axis. So that's just a really quick reference. And we can position it. Entity. Ground. Position it a bit below us so we can actually see something. Because if we have it at the same level, then the tearing is actually a bit above us. So we want it to be below us. So position it at negative 1. And for now with this, code, let's just run it. And here we just have our terrain and the corner. And we just need to re rep reposition it so we can actually see our terrain, flat slash flat landscape. And yeah, so that's so far our terrain. Let's just position it negative 500 on the x-axis and negative 500 on the z-axis. And if you run this program now, you see our blank terrain, and it's just stretched across. There's a black sky, so nothing too special. And if you want, you can color it, of course, but I will not take my time to do that because it does, really doesn't make a difference. Just using the entity color command, you can color it. But what will make a difference is that we can add a texture to this terrain. Now, I will just... For your convenience, I will create a texture. So first, just minimize that window. And start menu, run, CMD, command prompt, OK. And now, as we did in our the 11th tutorial, we're just going to run Microsoft Paint by typing MS, sorry, MS Paint, pressing the Enter key, and POW. We have Microsoft Paint open. And what we will do here is we will create a small texture. One sec. Let's just minimize this window and to make it smaller. Yeah, just some kind of like that, something like that. And let's just fill in the back with green. Just click on this color green. Click on that. And then fill it using the fill tool. Fill that. And now let's just use the curl tool and curl line tool and then put it on the maximum thickness and choose the brown color. And now let's just make a couple of curls. I, uh, that's just to demonstrate that this texture I'm doing is not too amazing or anything. So just take some time on yours. When you're done with that, just go to File, Save As. And let's save this uh, as a, in our Project 12 folder. One sec, let me just navigate to that. Project 12. Click on that and save it as Terrain, terrain Texture. And save it as I told you in the previous tutorials 24-bit bitmap. So save that. And now let's just close that window up. And now, apparently, if we uh, open our Blitz 3D IDE again, we can texture it. Just text equals load texture. And now let's load our texture. Uh, 
terrain texture dot bmp and now let's just do entity texture to color our texture onto our ground entity texture ground comma text now if we actually run this we will have a series of are we uh, remember in the last tutorials when we I applied a texture to a sphere it just stretched the texture out so it would fit the sphere well uh, tearings don't work like that they use uh, they use a method called tiling so each uh, each to square te it gets it tiled so each square texture goes into another and just tiles until the text the tearing ends in this case it's not a big one and we're moving so quick that we don't e you don't even notice a change and to change that let's just scale our texture now scale a texture it's just uh, there's two axes, the x and y axis. So there's a special command called scale texture because scale entity scales a 3D object on the x, y, and z axis. But our texture has only two axes. So let's scale it on the x and y axis and there's a special command, scale texture. Text, comma, five, comma, five. So five times its original size. Hit F5 and now we have uh, giant textures, I guess. And now you can actually see that we're moving. Oh, and by the way, you see that I'm turning, and I still move backwards. And that's I'm pressing the down key right now. I'm still moving backwards because translate entity just translates you. It doesn't even look at your relative position. It just translates you a certain degree. So let's fix that. Hit exit. And instead of using translate entity on your up and down arrow keys, use move entity. Now, move entity moves the camera relative to your position. Now it should look something like this. If we move back, wait, back, and if we turn, and we move, we can move at, we can actually move toward that direction, not just blankly moving in any direction. Forward, backward. So yeah, once you've done that, just hit exit escape and one sec so right now I will teach you how to make a plane and a plane is very similar to a gr to our uh, ground texture except it it's basically a landform that ends forever unlike uh, tearing so it's an endless landscape let's say it like that and a tearing and a plane doesn't take any parameters because it has an endless size so create plane, and let's just position it. We don't even need to position it to the left to get see it because it's endless. So negative one, just like that. Text equals load texture, tearing dot texture dot bmp. And now, apparently, if we load, if we run the program, I've just make the change that I made. Just change it to create plane, and you know we don't have to move it anywhere because it wouldn't make any. Function turn, oh, sorry, uh, turn entity, sorry about that, just hit F5, and now we have our endless landscape. You could just keep moving and keep moving for an hour, nothing would change, just keep on moving. Yeah, so, yeah, that was it for my first part, just creating our terrains and our planes. Planes are usually good for not really specific, uh, not really specific ground textures or anything. And just a couple of tips when you make your ground textures: make sure you have uh, a good. Well, you don't actually have to use Microsoft Paint. If you use Photoshop, you have much better quality photos. And if you know how to do that, and I'm sure there are tutorials on YouTube of how to do that, make professional textures. So yeah you know how to make textures then you're all set for this one and you're ready to go and make your games so thanks for watching guys and see you in part 